There it goes. I think it's live. The dogs are going crazy. That's always the uh, cue that the show's starting. The theme song, Ange. That's the theme song. It's dogs barking, running, and ripping at each other's throats. That is it. Ugh. It's time to draw with Tony D. That'd be the theme song, right? You need a theme song. I need a theme song. It's the weekend. It's Saturday. And you're here with me, Tony DiTrelisi, and my lovely, lovely, brilliant, Ooh, keep going, amazingly talented wife and best friend. Why stop there? <laughs> Angela DiTrelisi. Mm -hmm. Uh and that just that had a little like almost like a podcast vibe, the way I said that. I felt like we were doing a podcast and holy cow, this could be a podcast before it's all said and done. Why not? There are nine thousand other podcasts we can listen to. How many of them draw at the same time? I'm super excited to be here. Um, I, I don't know if you guys caught my message. I mean, listen, Ange, all week I said, I'm not going to draw this weekend. I'm going to take the weekend off, spend it with you and Sophia, yeah. hang out. Um, we've got things to do. We've got toilet paper to buy. Um, not anymore. Not anymore. Yes. I got lucky this morning. I went out early. Draw a roll of toilet paper. And I... <laughs> I went to Whole Foods. I'm going to draw what I looked like driving to Whole Foods, Ange. This is, this is pretty much... Did you have the stress face? I'm going to draw the... If you ever saw the movie, that it was a 19, late 80s, early 90s movie called Parenthood starring Steve Martin, a terrific movie. They would talk about their kid having the, the stress face. <laughs> I get that stress face from time to time. This is me. Hi, guys. Got some viewers. Michael, Anna, Patrick, Cassandra, Hannah, Julie, Stacy, Ann. Hey, got, hello. Michael Harbour. Uh, my hair was all just kind of whatever because I'd just woken up. It was just kind of... Oh, Michael Harbour, you're awesome. He said, for years I thought your awesome was just native, but then I learned you were married to Angela and I realized... It's mostly by association. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, any of my friends will tell you that, too. I can't tell you how many times friends have said, wow, you're really quiet when you're alone. But then when Ange comes around, you kind of perk up. And that's that's true. That really is true. Delaney that, Pluto's here. Oh, hey, Delaney. my gosh, Delaney. How Little are you? Little known fact. Wait, this, this is me. Oh, okay, sorry. This is me driving this morning to go get, you know, these are stress lines, in case you didn't know. That's... It should be a letter in the alphabet, but that was me. That's not a spidey sense. That is just um, just me at, at uh, you know early this morning driving to Whole Foods uh, looking for um, toilet paper and got lucky. There was there was toilet paper aplenty. Little known tip: I don't know if this is for every Whole Foods or or Target for that matter. Our grocery store said this too. Our grocery store said this too. They're getting trucks every day. Yep. A lot of them are. Target, to I called and talked to all the people. Thought bubble with a roll of toilet paper. Oh, yeah, definitely. Same. Yeah, I just you, need that. You've had it on your mind. Yes. Oh, I, I've had it on more than my mind, then. <laughs> um, love from Tijuana. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hang in there. Um, Hi from the UK. Anyway... The um, what I heard, and I thought this was worth sharing. So now it's like a public announcement. It's not just drawing for your entertainment. Is that um, they're getting trucks every day? They don't always know what's on the trucks. The gal at Whole Foods told me that they pretty much get toilet paper every couple of days, and that she can't guarantee what kind of toilet paper it is, but just keep checking back. So I, I did a that one ply scotch. Uh, you know what? In desperate times, call for desperate measures. Target said the same thing. They stock their stores overnight, and uh, you know they they've been getting it fairly regularly so if you haven't found toilet paper my advice is to set your alarm get up early like i did go out you might have to wait a few minutes and for the senior citizens to go they let them in first which i think is they terrific hour first they sh as they should. as they should um and then you know they should just keep that rule after this is all come and gone i mean that's pretty this awesome we in america i don't know if we even treat our seniors as well as we probably should that's a yeah, we put them in little homes and forget about them. But and that's another. That's another. Um, anyway, there, uh, there is me this morning at nine a.m. And then here is me coming home. Yes. Wait for it. You were the 
I was so it was literally this. This is my giant head. Hold on. I am so full on just squeezing the Charmin right here. This is me. You can already see it in this little gesture, this little stick figure. I am just so happy that I can really just, we can all wipe our butts for about three weeks until the... Wait, the, you got how, 24 pack. It was a 24 they pack. Offered, I will say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a humble brag for Tony here oh. for a moment. They offered him that he could buy two packages. Yeah, they're it. limiting it. You could buy 48 rolls of toilet paper, but you only went for one. I only did one. I, come on, I'm not, I don't want to be that guy. That's, come on, there's there's a lot of people. And here's the thing, little did I know, Ange, as I'm walking out of, of Whole Foods, there's a line of people waiting to get, like Whole Foods, say what you will about Whole Foods and their and their whole paycheck and, and et cetera, but they had it going on. They had taped the floor to, to show you exactly where to stop and wait before you, you had a person telling you what line to go in. Registers it was very, separated. the registers were separated by every other register. It was very effective. And there was a line of people as, to, you know, it's like Thunderdome to go in, one comes out kind of thing hello, so folks saying hello from italy hello we're thinking of you melania Anna Lee, thank you so much for tuning in and joining us today of course and hanging the in there it's been in our thoughts but our italian friends we love absolutely you. this is me at at basically at night i hadn't even had my coffee yet and here i was just squeezing the charmin so that was my morning i was uh, pretty excited and anyway we you know Ange and i have a ritual every morning we, you and i sit i make you a cup of coffee like a like a a a a friend should, and a husband, and you and I sit down, and we kind of talk about what's on our mind. What's what's the day? What do you have going on today? What do you got going on this week? And and this morning, during all the you know, kind of that. Did you read the news about this? Did you read the news about that? Did you hear? Meeting, yeah, yeah, to get our bearings straight, and it's, it sometimes ends ends in a therapy session. Mm-hmm. Um, we talked about making. We realized that I'm probably going to be. Um, I'm up for doing this live drawing um, every day, for as long as we are all in this together. Like I will keep going and keep drawing. I may even think. I was thinking about honestly, even sharing with you guys. Literally, like let's just make a book. Like I mean, we're working on books. I'm working on stuff. I don't know how many people are inclined to want to buy. A kid's book right now that's that's not, you know, Dr. Seuss or whatever, which I completely understand, but I would be happy. It will pass. Things will get back to the way they – kind of the way they once were. Maybe we'll all be a little smarter and wiser, but I am happy to – um you know, draw and kind of share what I'm doing. And so all that said, and for some reason I don't look like old me. I look like a little kid me from the 80s. Um, I am happy to – Keep drawing every day uh, live with the phone right here in front of my head. And um, maybe we'll just show how we make a book. You know, maybe it's going to, we'll have that kind of time on our hands together, Ange. Well, we haven't shared this, but right now Tony and I are collaborating. We have been working on a picture book together that has has been in the, on and off for 20 years. Something 20 very years on and off. Serendipitous about this moment because yeah. we're going to be trapped in the house together with no option of escape. Yeah. So we might as well make something. Yeah. While we're here. Yes. So anyway, um, we thought I told Angela and she had kind of said this. I need to make a graphic. I want to make something that's cool that we can use as like the program, as the show. I was literally did just to give you an idea how our creative creativity works. I was like, oh yeah, we can call the show Daily Drawings. Which, with Tony D, right? And Angela's like, that is like the most boring, like, that's so like, it's, not it's interesting. Not, it's just obvious, right? Yeah, it's so very, obvious. The obvious, right? Yeah, it's very obvious. So we talked it out and we came up with a new idea. I think it's pretty cool. Angela's, Angela's uh, idea. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, I remembered it. Drawn to fantasy. Which I think is a cool name for our little web or live thing, and then it does. There, is is that it? Is there parentheses or anything? With Tony Dietrichlisi. With Tony. With Tony Dietrichlisi. I just felt like. And then and then and then is it every day or is it weekdays? 
I kind of feel sometimes I maybe weekends or we call it, you know, whether it's we're going to do it or not. But just only I think weekends would be a bonus. Yeah, week right? weekdays we're... at one p.m. on channel Facebook. Weekdays at one p.m. I feel like right now we need to exist outside of reality a little bit. You know, yes. this is you always talk about you know art and your stories being an escape hatch. Yes. Um, and I feel like we really need that. So right. I, we would, I think we just want to escape to a fantasy world and we'll give you an hour each day to do that. To do it. Yep. If you choose to join us, we would love to have you on the journey. Yeah. I'm going to draw. Angie and I are going to talk. Narrated We're going to take. Narrated by Angela Dieterlisi. Narrated. I like that. I love that. Wow. Are you like paying this guy? Like what is this? He's got like his own thing. But I feel like it's. official. Uh, yeah. The graphic. <laughs> No, I mean, you would just be like this. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Narrated. No, no, no. It's Drawn to Fantasy with Tony Dieterlisi. Narrated by Angela Dieterlisi. And then you would have like, and Tony helped. That's not true. <laughs> I'm just joking. I had to I had to do it for the sake of, of the comedy, Angie. You know that. Okay. Um, anyway, the, Angie and I were kind of thinking about this. We thought, well, we'll come up with this. Immediately, I thought of a dragon drawing. I feel like nothing says fantasy easier and quicker and more succinctly than a dragon. And, of course, when I think of dragons, I, I do think of Dungeons & Dragons. But I also think of one of my uh, good buddies, Graham the Dragon, from my book, Kenny and the Dragon. Um, a book that's been celebrated quite a bit over, all over the country, Ange. Um, this book gets chosen a lot for the one book. One school program, which or is one community, We're, what, yes, or one cool. community, which is mind blowing to me that the entire town or an entire school is is reading my book. Um, I, I'm very blown away by that. But anyway, Wait, Angela Dieter Lisi presents. Oh <laughs> wow! <laughs> I wow, there it is. It's going. Um, and this is not to shill the new book, but you know, I. I did a lot of drawings of Graham last year and this year. I wanted to share this. This was my little traveling sketchbook. If, you, if you've been tuning in for a while, um, I actually did these drawings from myself when I in the 80s a couple summers ago. I loved doing it. I was almost going to do it this past summer. I started mapping out more drawings from the 80s. This is kind of how they all start. I make a bunch of notes. This is me. This is actually a funny story, and I should do this drawing eventually, which is um, we were getting a family portrait, and I had just come back from a Boy Scout summer camp, and an ember had flown up from the fire campfire, burned me in the middle of the forehead, and then we went and got our family photo, and I have this giant burnt scar in the middle of my forehead. It's wow. it's good That's times. Anyway, I had to kind of reacquaint myself with – Kenny Rabbit and everybody from uh, Roundbrook. So this is this was um, this was last July. This is what I was working on before because we hadn't announced the book yet. So I had to kind of keep it on the DL. Here's Charlotte. And it's just just kind of redrawing them. Not unlike when I draw D and D. Here's the one I wanted to get to. So the Graham the Dragon from Kenny the Dragon is incredibly complicated draw. He's kind of a pain. Um, to really get them to do it. If you, when I go back and look at the original book, there's the illustrations I'm not particularly fond of because I really didn't know what I was doing. So I had to kind of create a simple structure and some rules that could help me uh, kind of figure out how to do a, a continuity on drawing Graham. So I'm going to have this here handy with me. I use this while drawing Graham in the new book. Here's a drawing. I'll sneak peek, Ange. I'll show them. Uh, from the new book, here's Graham and Kenny. Here's Graham and Kenny talking. They, Graham has bunny ears on. Kenny has a dragon hat on. They have just gone to the fair and gotten uh, balloon hats made. So I think our mascot for Drawn to Fantasy, our daily uh, Facebook thing, should be yes. Graham. So I'm thinking Graham is um, – I'm going to move this up so I have it handy. It's constantly reminding me what I have to draw. And I'm going to grab a clean sheet of paper. And um, we talked about this. We're like, what should this logo be? And I'm thinking it's great. Actually, I'm just going to move it over here. It's called Drawn to Fantasy. We've got to have a fantastical element. In yeah, it. I think it's – and it doesn't matter what I'm drawing. I the, Each day we'll draw – you know, I want to draw characters from my from my kids' books. I want to draw D&D and just fantasy stuff. But got dragons I, on the brain. I've got dragons on my brain, Ange. I've got dragons on my mind. 
I will say, it's funny looking at this. We, I remember we had a very interesting conversation with George R.R. R. Martin. Uh, wow, did you drop something? Sorry about that. Did you just drop. drop that? You better, <laughs> let me pick that up we for were, you. <laughs> Game, of Game of Thrones is George R.R. R. Martin. There, now you said it Thank correctly, you. yes. Thank you very much. Um, and he was very insistent that dragons would not have four arms like you've given him. Like he would. No, oh, yeah, no, he would not like the my design he on Graham. Like he that. would not. He would. He would maybe like the he, Spiderwick dragon, he but he would not like Graham. He don't play piano. They, yeah, exactly. <laughs> this dragon also talks with a accent and recites Beowulf. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, and but loves creme brulee. Loves creme brulee. That he's fine with. It's the fact that he has a pair of wings that should be modified arms like a bat. That's where he takes issue. With it anyway, I'm just warming up. I haven't drawn uh, Graham in a and she's it's been about maybe a month or so, um, so I'm just doing a really quick little sketch um, to kind of get my brain back in the in the zone, Ange. Yep, sounds good. And then we'll figure out what Graham's doing for the. I'm guessing he's drawing. That's going to be our logo, right? That Graham is going to be kind of drawing I so. for it. I and and also I should add this is probably not going to be. An illustration more than it's probably going to be more like a graphic, right? Don't you think it should be more a graphic, like a like a like a not a logo, but yeah. kind of a. So is he going to be holding? Like, is there a sign that he's drawn? Has he drawn the logo, drawn to fantasy? Oh, that's interesting. Like maybe he's drawn it himself. There's something to be said about that. There is something to be said about it. I just said. And it. you just said it. <laughs> Uh, if you have any questions along the way, feel free to share them. I will. Uh, she will will vet them and tell me. That's right. Um, a if couple. Don't pick your question. It's not because it's not a good one. It's just sometimes I. It's get distracted. She gets distracted. She's actually playing Candy Crush right now. No, why we're <laughs> not? Um, hey, I do have a couple of announcements. Why we're drawing today? Uh, we are doing a thing with Wait, our. Hold on. Oh, that's it. We're gonna need a. You should. And you have a pretty good mouth trumpet. I mean, I don't know if it's as good as my mouth Let's trumpet. Let's hear yours. That was kind of flat. Okay. Well, I didn't say it was in tune. Hear ye, hear ye. That's pretty you good. You guys vote. Tony's was the first one. Mine was the second one. Number one for Tony's. Number two for me. Yeah, tell us who does a better mouth trumpet. But listen, for Drawn to Fantasy with Angela Di Talisi and Sometimes Tony Helps, brought to you daily on Facebook Live, <laughs> we do have a couple of announcements. The number one, I'm actually going to draw twice today. Our old neighbor, New York neighbor and sometimes Magic the Gathering model, <laughs> Chuck Klua, has a podcast called Above the Basement. comes out of Boston. Chuck usually interviews... Um, musicians, right, Ange? Correct. He's reviewed, uh, a myriad of, of, of musicians. A myriad of musicians he's interviewed. Yes, uh, including, he himself is a musician. Uh, yes, that's right. Including the likes of Don Henley. If you're an old uh, 70s fan like me, you, you might your ears might perk up to that. Uh, I'm trying to think of some of the other people. There were some pretty amazing names. But I remember last year he interviewed you and I. I'm not sure why we don't really have anything to do with music, but it was a nice interview nonetheless. Anyway, Chuck's doing like a rolling um, kind of live music and arts thing tonight. At, it's starting at 5. It's going to start with me. So I will be back here at 5 this evening drawing for about a half an hour. For the Above the Basement. For Above the Basement. I'll post the link on my site after this live session's over. And by the way, if you've missed any of the live sessions... This week, there I'm archiving all of them. You can sit and listen to me yammer for hours on end. I don't even know if my mother would sit through that much of me talking, but it's there for you to see and look at and 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 be entertained or bored, depending. I think this is a good little sketch of Graham. This is not necessarily what we want Graham doing. We were thinking of Graham drawing. So I'm going to go to like my stick figure kind of thing that I normally do. Just little like what's... So I, I'm thinking, okay, so we want to be able to do maybe see, yeah, I'm going to do some little thumbnails here. This is just a scrappy piece of paper that we're warming up with. So Graham, I'm thinking maybe <laughs> he's... You're an archer. How do you make spaghetti sauce? Check out my Instagram. If you she made it. followed me on Instagram, it's just Angela D. Terlizzi. I did in my stories a whole story of me making marinara sauce. She made marinara last night. It was so good. I mean, from scratch. It was so delicious, guys. And gals, I wish 
Well, I actually don't wish you were here because not not for the virus, but just because then I'd have to share it. <laughs> I get angry sometimes when you make a big meal for people only because I have to share the Wait, food. No, you don't. Sometimes you have made things and I'm like, oh, man, you mean there's uh, not going to be leftovers. There's not going to be leftovers. I love to cook. In this time when Tony draws, when he's stressed out processing things, I'm in the kitchen. Um, cooking. Cooking. You and Soph are going to make... Are bread. you and Soph making bread today? Did I hear that we're correctly? We're going to make some homemade bread. Oh, so I might that's... do an Insta story on making some yes. homemade bread. So we're on Instagram and Twitter and all book. the things. <laughs> yes. So there's like there's an idea, Ange. Like there he is. He's just Graham's kind of... You know, he's kind of smiling and drawing on a on a at a drawing table. And I don't... I mean, again, I, I don't know how much we want to show. Like I don't know if I need oh, to... I like that at the drawing table. I don't know if he's like sitting and he's in a chair. Like I... I feel you like you don't his, need you all. Need, you don't need his body. I don't think you need his body. Like I feel like it's just the I, what I keep seeing, and I go with this a lot. Like hey, Chris Rose, Chris, Doctor Rose, how Dr. are you? Rose, we missed you. Doctor Rose is in our D and D group. D and D group. Sadly, we we should have been playing today, but of course we're all quarantined. We would have been playing today. Yes, yes, and I know the guys uh, want me to figure out how to do an online thing. I know there's an app. I've I've looked started to look into it. I just haven't gotten around to learning it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. So wait, I'm, what I'm thinking, Ange, when when you first said, literally, now this is like a thing we can actually talk about. When this happens, when I'm working, you get a flash, like a little flash in your mind. I don't want to say it's a flash of inspiration more than it's just your brain doing what it it should do. Right. So you you said drawn to fantasy. I immediately saw this little picture of Graham, somewhat like this drawing and then it was like either the words were kind of here mm -hmm. or they were here mm -hmm. or they like there i saw it like i saw this little graphic of graham I drawing like, yeah i like both of those things i like the roundness at the top i like the i think the lettering down below is kind of cool that may be where with tony d kind of thing mm -hmm. or with angela di Chalisi, and then there's like a little stickum here and tony I'm just gonna. Just erase that. I'm just. <laughs> I don't even need that. Now it's better. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> this is it. Oh, look at this! Look at this! You can actually make his. Look at. Did you see that? His tail. His, no, his wings make kind of part of the circle. Maybe. Yeah. What, what would make? His tail comes around. <gasps> look at that! Is it a circle? Well, I feel like gra Well, that's you know, kinda cool. that's kind of cool. The wings go here. The tail kind of comes up here. I don't know. What's Doctor Rose think? Let's see what Chris Rose says. Maybe a little tiny fairy flying by his paper. Of course, we could, you know. We could do that. Um, but I'm thinking literally it won't be as densely drawn as an illustration. I think it's like a more graphic. Like literally the lines are going to be like very like almost like so I can make it small and, and work on, on, on Instagram and, I can, and, and Facebook. And it's like a real you read it immediately kind um, of thing. I don't know why. This is where my brain is at. Somebody's like, maybe a tiny ferret. For some reason, I read that really quickly and was like, maybe a roll of toilet paper. Like, well, I've got toilet paper on the brain. No, I, I mean, I have no idea well, what you're... because it says flying by his paper, so... Yeah, well, I don't, I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about <laughs> with the toilet paper. I, I'm not even quite sure what you mean by that, but <laughs> I do think I know what my border is. Okay. This is not toilet paper. This is a scroll, Ange, that I'm drawing. <laughs> around it <laughs> i don't know if you can see that but that's you know <laughs> no, no no okay we'll okay. grab another sheet of paper um okay i'm gonna keep it moving notes here we got some questions or some notes uh let's see how about thimble tack pointing to the letter says june gallagher see i can read too oh okay that's good to know yeah i can read um i thimble tack his tail could, could be a paintbrush mm. That's kind of cool. June Gallagher, that is a good idea. However, Graham to Thimble Tack, Thimble Tack would probably be about that big. So it's a good idea. I think the, that but the scale. Really tiny pen, just throwing it out there, that would also be a very tiny pencil. It would also be a very tiny. Well, Graham probably makes his own pencils knowing him. Uh, he's like a stick that he uses. Um, but, you know, the other option then would just to be draw Thimble Tack drawing. But I think if you don't know who Thimble Tack is, you're like, who is that weird old walnutty man and why is he drawing? <laughs> He's kind of walnutish. Um, okay, let me let me keep going with this idea. I do like the circle. Casey Lee revisited uh, a very battered copy of the Search for One Law after the streams this week. Oh, that's. Thank you. That was a 
uh, a very rewarding project. Wait, Graham is left-handed. You're, you, yeah, somebody said. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. That, yeah. I mean, I, I knew well, that. Untold geniuses. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, of course he is. I, everyone knows that. Do you see what I'm doing here? I'm redrawing it now and just kind of figuring out how to fill the shape and break the shape a little bit here. I'm digging this. I'm thinking we're on to something. This is, uh, you think about like all the, I would have just sat and done this by myself today, just sitting down here. And, uh, you know, here, we're all going to, we're all going to be in it together. So we're going to see, see the little logo. So instead of like Monday, when you have, a, when I have a shiny, fancy little graphic, you'll be like, oh, I saw him make that. You're going to have the wing break that? I'm, th well, I'm thinking the wing makes that. Like it's, it's part of it. Maybe the wing kind of comes down. Maybe, mm -hmm. I don't know. And then the text, there's text here. And then there's maybe that. And that's the drawn to fantasy. Am I crazy? Drawn? No, it's gonna no, get I don't weird. I like the arcing text. You don't like arcing text. It was here. This is drawn to fantasy. Draw, drawn to fantasy. This is very different than Billy Idol's um, podcast right now, which is Flesh for Fantasy. Yeah, he has a Flesh for Fantasy one that he's doing right now. We're doing drawn what to fantasy. Do you fan want like a scroll at the top? Tony, Tony and Ange? No, like, well, you could do... And, and another scroll? Tina, it's getting too fussy it's getting now. getting too fussy. It's too fussy. It doesn't need all that. I feel like you need Drawn to Fantasy with Tony Dieterlisi. Right? Yeah, I'm just wondering... I, 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 I think... Well, of course, I'm just hand-lettering this, so, I mean, we could... We could get the we could get we'll the we could get the typeset to fit in there. I mean, I'm wondering. And here's the other thing, Ange. I also saw kind of mid, not when I think of fantasy, I think of you know like let me see if I can draw a D. This kind of drawn drawn. Can you make that like a scroll? Drawn. Hear ye, hear ye. We are drawn to fantasy. No. Why no, I think drawn. Two little in the middle. Two. Dolls. Ooh, and then this is like a really cool F. Fantasy! Whatever that looks like, but it's... You know, I... And then with Tony DiTrelisi and a little scroll at the bottom. Fantasy! I feel like... This could be a scout badge for surviving Corona. Oh my oh. gosh, no kidding. You know what, that's actually kind of cool if we made it as a little emblem that you could print out. For your kids, for yourself. You definitely deserve to earn a badge. We're all going to earn merit badges for getting through this one. We'll be so, talking about this for decades. We don't know where you guys are at with this, but we just found out yesterday um, that our daughter's school made the decision to go online for the rest of the school year. Now, we're if you don't know, we're in Massachusetts, so we are in definitely one of the states that's been hit. Was hit initially quite heavy, but has since been uh, surpassed by some of the other states. Um, but nonetheless, we have a lot of students, especially in the Amherst area where we are. We have the five colleges, uh, University of Massachusetts, Smith, Smith College, uh, Mount Holyoke, to name a few. And, Hampshire, uh, UMass. Hampshire, UMass. Um, so I think the, I, the thinking here was, was we need to limit the um, interaction to try to keep this thing from spreading. Now, I read an article last night, Ange, from, this guy gave a TED Talk about, this is looking good. not pandemics, but epi, he was like an epidem epidemiologist. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And he worked on containing the smallpox outbreak. And he had said that the reason we're, we're all quarantined right now isn't to stop necessarily the virus period. It's to hold it, slow its spread, until they can get the vaccine. That's all it's doing. That's all we're supposedly doing right now. I mean, obviously there will be people that will get it and will, will recover from it. And the, but then unfortunately there's going to be people that, that either have pre-existing conditions or, or a situation where they will not. So part of the quarantining is to keep um, flatten the curve, flatten the curve so that, that the doctors can come up with a, 
um, vaccine, which is interesting and, and also scary. All right. I think we're getting a logo. I think we're getting a logo. I think this would be awesome on a t-shirt. Oh. As Carol Ann Craig just said. Well, what do you guys think? Are you digging this? Bring it a little closer. Can yeah, you here you go. It? It's just a scribbly thing, but... Where do you put with Tony DiTerlizzi? I don't know. Ange, how many of my how many of my book covers have you seen me design? And you're like, wait, where does your name go? And I, I, all I, the time. All the time. I never think about where just my... Just do a little scrolly. At like the right at the bottom. With Tony DiTerlizzi. Well, you can also just have a little... Oh, my friends in yes. England and Wales. I'm sorry. I do a, a really bad pirate British accent it's it's actually very well it's not as bad as when you're doing Bert from Mary Poppins that one's that one is that's real bad that's real bad but so was his oh and a pin you'd buy a pin too oh a t-shirt something like that maybe I don't know that's kind of cool and then Tony D's here I don't Let's know see. something like that yeah that's not bad Ange. I, I'm, I'm feeling it I see what you're what you're going for I kind of yeah. Let's. I'm gonna. Yeah, let's push exactly. it a little more. Let's see what we got here. I'm gonna. See. I'm gonna actually take it a little more seriously now. Um, anyway. Digging a gauge. Awesome. Good to hear, Gage. Thank you. Greetings, Gage. Megan loves it. Good. Eric loves it. Mary loves it. Everybody. Okay. Good. It. Good. People are digging this. Good. I like. I like Hello hearing. Washington it. State. Hope you're healthy. Hope you guys are all hanging in there. I know you got hit hard. We're thinking. I've. Uh, we're thinking of, of you and, and of a, a lot of the uh, states like New York or uh, so many friends in, in Washington and in New York that we're thinking of during this historic, That's one of the historic things. for all the wrong reasons, but nonetheless historic, Ange. The head of Sophia's school said like this, and it's been compared for this generation of kids as their 9-11. They are forever going to know a world that was before COVID-19 and after it. Yeah. Hopefully we'll, we'll all be, there'll be good things that come out of it as well. Absolutely. I hope so. And we lived, we uh, were in New York City then and uh, we're here now. Strong and resilient and we will continue oh. to sally forth and. Oh, sally forth. Sally forth. How does I one know. sally forth, Ange? <laughs> I need to know, like, does. And, we and, push and, forward. We that's are strong, that, and we're that's, resilient, we sally forth. You, do, you really I do. Mean, that's I'm moving what the, the British F say. We're, if we're drawn to fantasy and then, <laughs> old English font, we are sallying forth. We are sallying. Graham the dragon says we shall sally forth. That's right, we shall. And face this head on. Again, apologies to all our friends in the UK. I've done, you know, I used to do this when I'd read The Spider and the Fly. And, we, you know, oh, that's the other thing we should talk about, Angie. You and I are going to record. You've already recorded some live readings of your books. If I'm going to my Instagram page looking for my spaghetti sauce recipe on my story. You can also see my reading. I'm going to uh, uh we're both going to record some <laughs> over the weekend, right? You're going to read Yes, we're you read story time together. Yep, you read Yeah, you're going to help me read The Spider and the Fly. You did The Magical you Yet and you me. did Did you do some bugs? I haven't done some bugs. You I'm going to do some bugs. You did Just Add Glitter. Gonna, I I read Just Add Glitter on my Facebook page and I did The Magical Yet, which is not out yet actually, so I was giving a little sneak peek of that on my uh, Instagram page. I got to sharpen my pencil real quick, but You've never heard the phrase Sally Forth before? Mm. The, while I'm sharpening my pencil, here's that picture of me drawing, hugging toilet paper. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, never mind. That was that's done now. I forgot. I actually believe it or not, Ange, I sharpened like three pencils before we started just to make it move quicker. So sorry, I, I'm shaking the table here. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like what's crazy about this and being quarantined at home is the emotional roller coaster. Yeah. You know, just processing what this is doing to and seeing firsthand what this is doing to friends with local businesses. Very scared about that. I'm tracing right now, Ange, just to see. I'm going to do a quick, quick trace. I don't know if you guys can see this at home. I think you can. I'm just centering it. I'm centering the paper I'm going to draw it on, and I'm just centering the little sketchy on that. But I'm going to trace it, which I do this all the time now, so I can just get a better, cleaner. Go ahead, Andrew. I'm sorry. I cut you well, off. No, I was just saying, like, you know, we have these really great, fun, funny, warm, cozy moments in our day. And then there's definitely parts of the day which are, you know, I just start thinking about kind of the broadness of this hellscape nightmare that we're in and it gets really really depressing and really hard and yeah. i will say that it not only 
is this enjoyable for Tony and I just spending time together doing this, but here with all of you and knowing that we're having a connection in all of this is so meaningful um, and brightening our spirits and our day that you guys are here sharing this with us. So thank you guys so much. I, I couldn't have said it better, Angie. And you're right. I mean, that... It is, we, I mean, we have so many friends who have their own businesses or small businesses or, or freelance uh, artists who are totally going to be impacted in the long term. Not, they're already, in, everyone's impacted already, but they're going to be impacted in, an, in a scary way coming up. And so um, to be, able, we're thinking of all that and, and just trying to bring a little light and, and lightheartedness into this while we're kind of all getting through it together. And I will add that it, what Andrew said is so, is so spot on. I, I always feel this when I'm on book tour. I, I'm going to be honest here. We're going to keep it real. I have a real love hate with book tour. Now hear me out. I, it's just a travel. I hate getting on the planes anymore. I hate the, the car rides you're eating. I, you never sleep well. You know, but it all goes away when you are in a room with people. It can be 10 people, five people. It can be 500 people. But when a family shows up and, you know, you're in their town or they've driven for hours and they bring you the, they've bought your new book or they've brought their own old battered copy or their, or their, their old, you know, the Dungeons and Dragons book. It all, all the, the 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 frustration and anxiety washes away. It really is so incredibly validating, and in some ways, I'm feeling that here, Ange, that you know sometimes I feel useless or it's futile what we're doing, and then we get to hang out with you all each day, and the, and it's like a light spot, right? Yeah, it really is. Absolutely, it's a little like. Like, we're going to do it. We're going to keep doing it, and we'll do this, and, and we'll just keep going. Well, because I also feel like, you know, when I'm talking to my friends, when we're talking to family, we're kind of just talking about the, the same thing, the situation. Over and over, over again. And over, and when I scroll through any social media, you know, it's really, really tough um, to just see all of the reality of this situation. Yeah. And I think that's why it was like we're drawn to fantasy because in this moment we just want to take you on this fantastical journey for the hour or however long that we are here. Yeah. Um, and that we can be together. We'll all it. be together because really that's what we're all craving, right? Even maybe we'll all appreciate being together a little more after this is passed because it will pass. It'll they'll it it'll. It'll, they'll figure it out and they'll be, it may be six, seven, eight, nine months who though. Knows? Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you know what? However long it is, we'll keep doing it. Right, Ange? That's true. We, we are here. You are here. Let's be here together. Oh, it's like the who's. We are here. <laughs> we are here. We are Okay, this lettering is not the right lettering. I would, I probably I'll would, yeah, I'll typeset it or do a thingy. Um, but I am feeling, Digging I'm in. feeling vibes. I'm feeling, did Here's that, did that the, okay, sound, I, did I sound I, like an old person? I'm feeling vibes. I don't think the scroll needs to be that wide. Yeah, it's a little much. It's too wide. Oh, well, hold on. No, literally... Well, hold on. Here's the trick. Now I can turn this off. See, we can see it without the scroll. Yeah. So I no, wonder. Like it's kind of like a globe too, which is neat because. Oh, like his wings. Like we're all connecting. Oh, I didn't even think. From all over the world. Oh, I wasn't thinking that. I was just using these as guidelines to make sure I get his um, joints right. <laughs> it's just <laughs> the, the see the yeah 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 yeah. Is it bad that it's kind of a a tattered bat wing? That his dragon wing is, but that's kind of what it is. Those are his Look wings. Your original illustration of him. What do his wings look like? They're up there. They're, They're like that. They don't yeah. look too tattered. He's a yeah. You're right. He doesn't have any. I'll get. I'll get rid of the tatters. He's he's. They've healed. He's he's healed. He's healed them. He, he Graham. First of all, would moisturize religiously. So they are definitely. Okay. Can I say one thing? I love the kind of folded look to them, like in that illustration. This is it, guys. Now you're getting the real. This is it. The gloves are off. She's well. You know, it's really good. However. You want that, like that kind of thing, where they're a little more, like, because he doesn't have them Correct. stretched. 
Correct. I'm with you. you. I'm not going to I'm not going to push back hard. You're right. Thank you. There it is. That's it. Collaboration. How do you and your wife collaborate? There it is. This is what we're doing. Um, all right. So this, this lettering's placeholder. I've got, I mean, what we'll do next, actually, maybe tomorrow, is I'll scan this in and I'm going to draw on top of it on the scan and I'm going to blow it up so that I, we can do the final. But it's good working at it real small because it's meant to be a little graphic. So you don't want to, I don't want to clutter it up with a lot of lines. It's going to be very, very clean. Um, like we just got to figure out where the heck my name. This is one of the things that I think is such coolest Thing about being an artist and whether you are a painter a drawer a musician painter, musician I love the process of creating something that didn't exist before I mean that is so cool like this didn't you know you had it in your head we talked about it it was just first it was just an idea then it became words with a title now it's going to be a thing I'm so glad you guys were here too to wit this is, is every day for us yeah. This is it. And I try to share it. I wish I, I probably could have been better about sharing it m more. I tend to get either really busy. Social media, I mean, that, 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 we'll save that for another episode. But for me, social media, I have a very love-hate. I love connecting with fans. Um, but there's it's so much stuff out there. It's, it's, I sometimes feel like I'm just adding to the white noise of, of social media. Well, I think... That so, has like something like that, good. and then th maybe the F cuts in like like that, yeah, like it's kind of a to, similar. But we'll we'll get there, right? All that. Um, the other thing is, I feel so often I hear people saying like, I don't have time to do that. You know, there's things. Definitely. I have a story, but I don't have time to work on it. You know, I'd like to paint or draw. I don't have time to do it. Um, poetry. I write a lot of poetry. My books are essentially poetry, and it's like I wish I had more time. And now we've got the time. We've got the time. And you can see how just committing to your creative self can improve your mood. I think Graham is looking. I, I agree with you. Hold on. I, I'm listening to your podcast, but I'm also going. <laughs> is, podcast. Sorry. This is, no, no, no. I'm, I'm just trying, thinking. I'm just, uh, I just wanted to change the eyes so that Graham. I'm doing. A, I'm reflecting a lot. There's been a lot of. Reflecting. There's a lot of reflecting going on. We're getting there. We're getting there. What do you guys think? Eric Bouchard. Bouchard? 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 Bouchard. Bouchard. Welcome to my world, Eric, when, when your last it name's Dieter Lisi. He says it's looking good. If Eric says it's looking, Boucher says it's good, then it's good enough for me. Tony Dizzy Lizzie. Dizzy Lizzie. I have gotten, yeah, guess that's my world. Maybe the banner Bro. should be on top. You're not down with the banner on the bottom. But I want you to read Drawn to Fantasy with Tony D. Otherwise, it would have to be Tony D. Terlizzi Presents. Uh, maybe. But that might be too wordy. I like that your eyes go to the dragon. If you put the text up top, it's... your eyes are going to go there first. And even this may be too much. I, I, I think you don't need the scroll to happen that far out. Okay. And the other thing is, too, I'm doing that kind of scroll. It could be a this, like the little... Okay. Yeah, maybe it's... Oh, that's kind of... It's a very uplifting, right? Do you see that? Making it more pennant-like. Watch, watch, watch. I'm going to make it like a... <laughs> no pressure or anything, June Gallagher says, but where do you want me to send the money for a women's large t-shirt? Uh, you know what we should do? We should honestly... We are... This. What's yeah, that website where you can, like, custom print stuff real like, quick? Yeah, it's like a bubble, red bubble or blue bubble or mm -hmm. some kind of bubble. There's a, there's a bubble and there's some kind of cafe press thing, I think, but yes. Except there's no one working there now, Ange. So oh, you gosh. would put your order in and it would just sit until, you know... Next next May, but we'll figure it out. Do do you see how I changed the scroll that was facing down? Am I crazy to think that you, oh, this you're just is crazy. going? You're just crazy. <laughs> this is going too far. What if it's just a thing that's right here? Oh my gosh! All right, so I'm gonna erase it. I don't know. I don't know either. It's just that's this why I'm is doing what it. We do. That's it's why you okay. have two tools on that pencil. Oh yeah. Oh, you're telling me now, huh? Cafe press. Thanks. That's it. That's it. I knew it was a. Okay. Oh, yeah. We could totally do it as a fundraiser where we upload oh. it. I don't know if they're still doing it. We could upload it and then do it as a... Uh... Like that? You want it that small? No, I'm thinking... Like Even smaller? That. Or like thinner? Like less... What about just a, a round little thingy or something? I feel like... What about... That actually doesn't look bad. I feel like that's bad. It doesn't feel so You're, overwhelming. Maybe you don't need it going over this far. Like... Oh, to the side? 
know. Well, listen, my name needs to appear at least 32 point font. Otherwise, contractually. Sorry, that hey, was. Hey, Dave Peterson. Hey, Dave Peterson. Here we are again, Dave Peterson. We're doing it. I mean, I'm no Dave. Dave Peterson told me the other day he twitched for like 97 straight hours. He just like twitch. I'd be twitching, Dave. I don't know how you do it. But I, uh, you know, the one thing you do do, Dave, you do do, that I, I want to find out about is you have two cameras. I think we should do that. We need another camera? I don't know. Maybe we can just switch it up so they've got a camera A and a camera B. Or do you think people don't care? I don't know. People don't Who care. Do you guys think? I don't know. know. Dave Peterson would know. Us too at the same time. I don't know. Maybe you don't. For what, what it's what worth. What they see? I don't know. My gray head? I don't know. It's maybe not. No. Dave yeah. Peterson's, he's younger. He wears a, a. He's always fashionable with a like a paperboy cap on. You know what do I wear? You know, I just wear old t-shirts, old Van Halen t-shirt. I'm not wearing that today, but that's usually what I'm wearing. All right, I'm I'm just getting rid of it. I, I, it's it's. What about a, like a little shield shape? Oh, look at you. But okay, but here's the thing. <laughs> It is. How, but I'm thinking of like, here's the thing. It, we're so used to, like Instagram uses a square. The, gee, Twitter, it's going to be like a super horizontal. You like it. Keep going. All right. Never I don't mind. know. I don't, it okay. does. It does look better. I'm not going to lie. Kinda cool. It's kind of good. Anyway, Dave, that was like a really lame version of, of trying to compliment you of, of how dedicated you are to your fans. Okay. Maybe there's a thing like that with the thing with... You know, it's with, and then, how do you fit Dieter Lisi? It's like, no. why couldn't I be Eric Boucher? His name would fit. Oh, but I do. Ooh. No, we're losing the circle now, and I don't no, know if that's I, good. I, I see what you're, yeah. yeah, I think we're losing the circle. The circle made it somehow complete. If that means any. Yeah, it's too eggy. I'm going back to the circle. It's and I, it's not even a real circle. It's like a hand drawn. Let me see if I have my. Uh, I have a compass. We could actually make it a real circle here. We can find it. Oh, Dave Howe's like I like the shield. Maybe cross swords. Oh, dang it! I have a compass. Here I know. Somewhere. See, isn't it crazy that just like a tweak in the shape can just change? Just round enough. That whole composition. Look at that. You like Pixar's Onward. Who's wants to know? Elisa? Elisa mm -hmm. Huberman wants to know if I liked Pixar's Onward. I um I liked it. We saw it when it was still in the theater. I guess now you can just stream it, which is smart. I guess a lot of a lot of uh, do you see this this is a very hey, fancy you just need to say with Tony and Ange. With, this is a very fancy <laughs> compass I'm using here. Ooh, pencil and a paintbrush crossed. That's cool. You can add oh, that's some. Kinda cool. That's kind of cool. I dig that. That's cool. I dig that. Hold on. Let's get Eric. back to Onward for a second here. Yeah. Okay, Onward. Onward. We saw it. So we saw it in the theater. We were the only ones in the theater. This was last week, you know, way back when, when, you know, we were, no one was really sure how bad this was going to get. And we certainly wanted the escape. I liked it. I didn't love it. I liked it. I liked all the references. I liked the story. You loved it at first. I liked this. I loved the story, but I didn't care for the plot, right? So the story of the two brothers, I really loved. I thought it was very heartfelt, very real, very Pixar, what Pixar does so well. But the story, I felt, I mean, the plot could have been more. Some of the character designs I absolutely loved. Some of the character designs I didn't care for, but, you know. What do I know, and what do I, what what difference does it so make? What was your issue with the plot? I felt that. Oh, I mean, I don't. I, people haven't seen it, so I don't want to oh, do okay. spoilers. Okay, wait, but I'll, I will base it. I will base it on what's on the trailer, and I and I do remember seeing the trailer and being very excited. First of all, let me just say, and this is my own personal opinion. This has nothing to do with anything. I think, by and large, Pixar usually doesn't do great trailers. You and I have okay. said this from the beginning. I remember seeing the trailer Nemo? for Finding Nemo, and we're like, so "Oh, that doesn't look that good." Normal and then, that you, because it was just Dory and 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 Marlon kind of just talking, and you're like, "What is this movie? It's nothing." 
Well, because I feel like the big thing, the emotional core is what gets you in Pixar, Pixar films. Yes, the story. And Yes, and you don't ever get any of that. It's hard to convey it, right? It's really hard to convey that in a, in a in little 90-second, two-minute trailer. So all that said, um, and what I, for my own vocabulary, I refer to the story as what's the story, and that's usually the emotional aspect of, of, of a, a story. And then the plot is the physical actions of how to get there to get there. So let's take Star Wars, for instance. The emotional – oh, yeah, she's giving me the nod to keep drawing while I'm talking – the, um, the the story is of a, a, a orphan farm boy who becomes a, a knight, right? That's the story of Star Wars. The plot is, you know, Death Star plans and rescuing a princess and blah, blah, blah. So with, um, with Onward... I just felt like the quest could have been more interesting. In in with without giving anything away, the the, the trailer shows like once upon a time in lands of yore there were there were there were centaurs and 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 goblins and elves and unicorns and now it's modern times and and there was magic and magic is gone and there's but yet there's still centaurs and and cyclopses and goblins and elves which had nothing to do with the but but then that had like they just had like Starbucks, but it was like their version of Starbucks, which was funny and 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 all that. But it just felt like wouldn't the they wouldn't the they thing. know that there was magic? Wouldn't there still be people kind of studying magic? You're in a magical you know, world. Eating out of your yeah, them, yeah. They just I, I mean, felt like there was some stuff that was like it was a cool pitch, but maybe it could have been thought out a little more. I don't know. The fact that it took place in a fantasy world really didn't have anything to do they could have just been humans it didn't matter that they were elves that's really at the end of the day it didn't matter that the two leads brothers are elves (laughs) you don't they could just human skinned and looking like yes yes and i don't i don't know if i like that you know what i mean like so then it's you know so there that's that's my that's why i'm i'm mixed did i buy the art book of course i did (laughs) Of course I did, because I wanted to see all the thinking. And what they do, so their world building is phenomenal. Bless you. Their world building is always phenomenal. Um, but here I just felt, mm, I don't know. Anyway, a little more detail on this, Ange, I feel like. Okay, let me just say this. Because I start, this is what happens. We go to a movie and we're like, oh, we liked it. And then we start analyzing everything. Everything. Okay. Sophia's, so Sophia's getting sick of it. <laughs> so they're elves. Why did their house just look like a suburban house? No, it well on the inside, but on the outside it was a mushroom. But like I wanted that mushroominess on the inside. Right. Like, I don't why? Know. Like I don't, I don't understand. Who knows? Like hobbits live in cool hobbit houses. Yes, very hobbity. Everything's round and they have they have artifacts that we recognize, so we know what a plate and a cup and a you know, a lamp and all that stuff is. In dark crystal. Who's your favorite character? Gelfling, Skeksis? Yes. Texas Mystics? Yes, 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 yes. Don't forget Fizzgig and don't forget the Landstriders and everything in the forest. I love that movie. I loved it as a kid. I, I mean, I love it visually. It blew my mind. If you can imagine a, a, a time when, when, you, when people said Muppets, all you thought of was Kermit the Frog or Bert and Ernie. Mm-hmm. And then you see that move, that trailer for that movie, and you're like, those are puppets? That's the thing of, of Dark Crystal, where you just didn't even know puppets could be made like that. And bear in mind, this is right when Yoda's also coming out in Empire Strikes Back. So just that, that the puppetry was taken to a, a whole new level. And, uh, and I think that's why it lessened with Labyrinth, because you'd kind of seen it already with Dark Crystal. But um, yeah, I, I, it's the whole thing. It's the whole package with Dark Crystal. That's that's what made it so unbelievably mind blowing. And also knowing Brian Froud's art and and seeing like you knew right away that that was Brian Froud's art. You knew that Brian Froud was somehow involved with that movie, and because uh, it looked just like his 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 work. It's pretty unbelievable. That's all I have to say about that. I can't get out of camera. You know, I, for all my rules I figured out, Ange, one rule I didn't figure out was where the other arm that's essentially Graham's wing kind of meets. It's weird that the they top? both... What do you have it on the top? It's of weird the that they board? both meet at the shoulder. What do you mean? The, 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 the joint for his wing uh-huh. 
is strangely parallel with his arm. And, you know, for all the ways I was trying to figure out how to draw Graham. You've got it lower on that. Yeah, I've got it lower. So I'm thinking the arm's like up here. Yeah. About that. Okay. As long as it's plausible. I agree with you, Eric. Is If you really want your name with the logo, maybe it could hang down on a little tavern sign or something. Oh, like that's kind of cool. God, wait. We're going to have to owe this guy. <laughs> Because it's funny, I kept seeing, like, maybe a little shield, like, maybe its own little thing. Is that Eric Boucherer again? <laughs> like, something like that? That's kind of cool. Digging it. And then it's got my name. Guys, I think we might have come up with a little logo. Little chains attaching it and ropes. Yeah. Chains and robes, mm. little tavern sign. I'm thinking it's like because it's then maybe like a little established what 2020. Yeah. What about at the bottom, like a little? You can have your your brush and your pen. You just keep at going. The of the sign. Or they're here, or is that too much? That's too much. Oh, but, you're saying like in back of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the, the signs? Sign. The sign is it? Like it's this? It's part of the sign. Hmm. That's very uh, Diagon Alley, right? Oh, I dig that. And then, but have it be in back of it? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So here, so then it's yeah, this. Yeah. Oh. I mean, if you really want to get overly clever, you make this a palette, but that feels like it's a little too much. I think Chris Rose would agree. So just like calm it down, T Dog. What do you guys think? I don't I'm know. Do you it. like that? Is it too much? Eric, I like it. It's funny. I was totally seeing that too. I'm like, something like a shield or something. I got to tell you, I feel like the brush and the, it's just too many pointy things. I feel like it's cleaner. That's cleaner. Yeah, you can put it literally like down at the bottom, the center, tiny. There. Uh, it, you know, like that. Yeah. Yeah. Again, it's you we'll know, see. we'll see, we'll see. We'll see. Once we start typesetting it. Yes, part two we'll tomorrow. Have... So tune in tomorrow for part two. Working digitally. We're gonna scan it in and we'll start. TP roll hanging off the bottom, nice. Yeah, definitely. Well, that goes. Yeah, that kind of goes without saying. Uh, tomorrow will um, will uh, T dog or T Rex? Sometimes the, I which uh, you know. T-Bone. I always think of T-Bone Burnett, the mm -hmm. bass player for Daryl Hall and John Oates. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. We're going to scan it in tomorrow, and I will then, in the interim, figure out if there's a way I can share my computer I screen like on Facebook. tools, too. So what? Who said that? Dave. Oh, thanks, Dave. I um, agree, Dave. You did like it. You didn't think it was overkill? Like it was just too much? All right. I'm putting them back. You guys say so. It's got to be real obvious that it's a brush. Right, an artist's brush and a pencil, mm. or a pen could be a pen, but dip pen. It could be a dip pen, but nothing says sketch. By Something the way, like, what all of this will start? Like, here's the thing: like right now, it's super sketchy, but once he makes that, he inks this, or you know, it's going to be a clean line. Yeah. You know, so it, it will get it, It's going to get nice and sharp, and then we'll typeset, um, you know, we'll choose a font, typeset it, drop it in. Oh, God, choosing a font, that could be an episode in of itself. Oh, my God, font choice. Big Always decisions. big. Decisions. Lots of stuff. So in the meantime, I am going to, between t t t now and tomorrow, figure out if there's a way to share my computer screen on Facebook Live because that's because we're going to be in in Photoshop and I want to be able to uh, we're going to want to know how to do that anyway because I want to be able to show what I we can totally set the camera up while you're doing Photoshop. Do you guys? I think, but I wonder if it's no. I think it's, you're going to get that weird banding, you know, like when you film a computer screen. So, um, yeah. I don't know, Dave. You probably know. Yeah, I'll see. Dave how Peterson will know. We, we, you know, when in doubt. Refer to Dave Peterson. He's he's done it all. He's over on Twitch. You can he's over on Twitch. Stuff. You should definitely. What are you if, draw today, Dave? Yeah, tell us what you're going to draw, and we will read it out loud. And just a reminder, I'm guessing Mouse Guard. <laughs> <laughs> just a reminder, T is going to be back here at 5 p.m. We're doing this as a special a special event for our friend who has the Above the Basement podcast. Yes, I will be back at. Zoom can share to Facebook, huh? Oh, that's interesting. Maybe, yeah. oh, Daily drawings with Tony D. I will be back again at 5 p.m. for about a half an hour. I am not going to work on the logo. I'm going to do something. Just I'm just going to do because it's, it's kind of 
yeah, it's kind of part of a rolling live entertainment thing f- with our friends from above the basement. So I'll probably just do a one-off little uh, – I might even sketch something and just ink it live. And then, But Ange will be here. And um, for those uh, who want to uh, come back, we'll see you then. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow. And uh, I can't say it enough. Be safe. Be well. Be healthy. Stay hang, strong. Stay strong. Hang in there. We're all in this together, literally. And uh, Ange and I will be here, and we'll see you then. Take care. Bye. Bye, guys.